you were pops are Lynn Har- in Harvey House things Lynn you've been quite down three weeks on three weeks on Saturday yeah how was things are you all set or how's uh, your camp just, at the minute uh, honestly you just feel great I just feel great I think as well because I started fresh back from scratch you know so I'm in camp now six weeks so I talk about the first three weeks just literally coming out of retirement like I've been keeping tipping over in the gym but it was like it wasn't anything like boxing training so the first three weeks was just honestly it was I remember saying to one of the lads you know, if I don't make it tell me family I love them I was I was in bits like but after a three weeks then I just kind of started feeling back to myself and I was, I was kind of saying okay yeah right it started coming back to me and I'm absolutely flying now I just feel if fitter and just happier than I ever did, like so. Yeah, that's great. You're delighted to get back into the ring, and especially the way you're, way you're fighting as well in the, in the arena. It's a brilliant place. Isn't yeah, of course. It's going to be yeah. packed that night, so I'd say I'd with that atmosphere. I'd say it's, it's going to be a great show. You know, no Jay, no Jay, a long time, and he's putting a lot of effort into it. A lot of them, a lot. I say it's going to be loads of showmanship. It's going to be loads of lights, loads of drama. So I'd say it's going to be a fantastic show to box on. So I'm delighted that, that I'm on it. What's the next step for you, Lynn, after this fight? If you win this um, fight? We were, we were, look, we were actually contemplating going for a title fight for this one. And then I had a chat with Stephen, you know, and my coach, and we decided that it wasn't um, wise just for the first one back because, you know, just get the cobwebs off and stuff. Like, in saying that, I don't want an easy fight either. Like, I, I want some endurable. Like, it's not like I'm looking for a walkover. I'm not. But we just have the first one, don't have the pressure on for a title fight, especially I've never had a title fight either. So I think we're looking at one of them. Um, maybe in October and by Christmas I want to challenge for a European title so I think that this fight and even if I get two more fights um, I'm, I'm ready to challenge whoever's the European champion I want to, I want to challenge them I absolutely just believe in my heart and soul that I can win that I mean, I'm visualising that I want it to happen before the end of 2018 might be a little bit ambitious but that's uh, you've won I, everything in amateur in, the, in a few years a very short space of time so yeah. I'm sure you can, can hit that standard again because you've been ready in three years you've won everything yeah well I, I think yeah like it was just a bit of a whirlwind because um, I started when I was I was, I was 30 when I started and I did a white collar and um, I got the head punched off me. My really nice girl who are friends with now, but then I just was like, right, okay, it's either don't go back here again and show your face or go back and do it properly and just get your boxing card and actually compete. And then I did that and then in the year I was the Novice All Ireland champion and then the second year I was the intermediate and the third year I was the elite Irish champion. So it was just kind of like a dream step up the way it happened like it was just now don't get me wrong I was training non-stop and I wasn't working I, I put my heart and soul into it it wasn't like and I fought really tough girls so nothing was handed to me I absolutely chilled my way to get it like so yeah it was good brilliant experience you know so three weeks time you'll be all set then yeah I'm ready I'm, I'm ready I'm waiting for this yeah thanks very Dirty. much Lynn. thanks Good so time. much thank you